Good day to my beloved students. Welcome to Sir Dude's Classroom. You are going to watch again another video on our lesson. But before that, watch this. Ang cross daw ay parang math problem. Pag hindi mo magets, titigan mo na lang. <laughs> so this is our lesson for today. Introduction to algebraic expressions. So, algebraic expression it is a combination of numbers, variables, and operations. So these are the examples of algebraic expressions. 5x squared. Example number 2. Negative 18m cubed n. Example number 3. a raised to the fourth power, b raised to the fifth power. And the number 4 example 2a minus 3b plus 5c. So, these are the examples of algebraic expressions. It is a combination of numbers, variables, and operations. Let us define variable. The definition of algebraic expression is a combination of numbers, Variable. No, so may variable doon. So, how do we define variable? So, a variable is a symbol that represents a number or a quantity. You, usually, we use uh, letters of the English alphabet as variables, but not all. Kasi yung iba um, uh, can be mistakenly as numbers. So, for example, yung O, pwede maging zero. Yung G, pwede maging 9. Yung I, pwede maging uh, 1. Or yung small letter L. Now, by the way, class, when you use uh, variables, it should be small letters, no? not capital letters. So, yung Z, mapagkakamalang 2. Yung S, mapagkakamalang 5. So, hindi lahat. No? Uh, may ma I usually use A, B, C, D, M, N, P, Q, X, Y, Z. Yun lang yung mga usual na ginagamit ko sa uh, klasiko. Okay? So, those are examples of variables. Example ta natin. 5X squared. So, in 5X squared, what is the variable? So, X is the variable. Example number 2, negative 18m cubed n. So, what is the variable in this expression? m and n are the variables. Now, the numerical coefficient. So, what is the numerical coefficient? What is a numerical coefficient? A numerical coefficient is a number attached to one or more variables. So, usually yung number before the variable, no? yun yung numerical coefficient or simply coefficient. Kasi yung variable, tawag, other term for variable is literal coefficient. So, ang number, numerical coefficient. Pero kapag well, hindi naka-indicate kung numerical or literal, for example, coefficient lang, ang tinutukoy nun is numerical coefficient. No? It is the number attached to one or more variables. So here are the examples. 5x squared. 5 is the numerical coefficient. So 5 is the number before the variable. So, magkadikit ha. Walang operation between them. So, 
5 is the numerical coefficient. Number 2 example, negative 18 m cube n. So, the number before the variable m is negative 18. So, negative 18 is the numerical coefficient. Next example, x raised to the 8th power. Sir, wala pong, ano, wala pong number before the vari variable x. So, meron yan. No? Merong invisible 1. Kapag walang naka-indicate na variable before, uh, no, kap kapag walang naka-indicate na number before the variable, understood na ang number dun is 1. So, meron yung invisible 1. 1 x 8. Kaya lang yung 1, pag 1, hindi na sinusulat. So, understood na yun. So, in x raised to the 8th power, 1 is the numerical coefficient. And number 4, negative m cube n. So, before m cube n, merong 1, invisible 1. So, the numerical coefficient for this is negative 1. Next, constant. So, what is a constant? A constant is a number that has a fixed value and has no variable. It is a term. So, when we say constant, hindi siya nag-change ng value. No? Parang lab yan ng parents nyo sa inyo. Hindi nagbabago yung lab nila sa inyo kahit kayo ay makulit, kahit kayo ay pasaway. No? Fix ang lab ni mami at ni daddy sa inyo. Para silang constant. So, it has no variable. It is a term. So, example, 5x plus 9. So, ano yung walang variable dito? Siyempre, 9. So, 9 is the constant term. Next example, 4y minus 8. So, ano yung walang kasamang uh, variable? Sir, 8 po. Partially tama yung 8, pero kulang. No? It should be Negative 8. Negative 8 is the constant term. Now, let us discuss the term. So, what is the term? A term can be a number, a variable, or a product of a number and one or more variables. So, example, negative 12. So, negative 12 is a number. Therefore, negative 12 is a constant. Now, ah, I mean, a term. N. Number 2 example, N. N is a variable. Isabi dyan sa definition, can be a number, can be a variable. So, a variable siya. So, n is a term. Or, a product of a number and one or more variables. So, negative 12 n, this is the a product. No? Kasi, ibig sabihin yan, negative 12 times n. So, ito yung sinasabi dyan na, a product of a number and one or more variables. So, negative 12n is a term. And, number 4, x cubed y raised to the 4th power is also a term. Sir, wala pong number. Before x cubed y raised to the 4th power, merong invisible 1. So, yun yung number, invisible 1. Two or more variables, x and y. No? So, x cubed y raised to the fourth power is a term.
identify the number of terms for the following. Number 1, 3, A, B, C. So how many terms are there in 3, A, B, C? So one term only. Remember, terms are separated by a plus or minus signs. No? Sineseparate yung bawat term ng plus or minus sign. Wala kang makitang minus dyan, wala kang makitang plus, therefore, one term lang siya. Next, 3A minus BC. So, 3A is the first term, negative BC is the second term, therefore, there are two terms. There are two terms in 3A minus BC. Third, 3a plus b minus c. So 3a is the first term, b is the second term, negative c is the third term. Therefore, there are three terms in this expression. And number four, 3 minus ab plus 4ac minus bc. How many terms are there in this expression? You are correct. Four terms. Okay, we have here uh, some exercises. Let us identify the variables or literal coefficient, the numerical coefficient, and the constant. No? So, given yung algebraic expression. So, number one, 3a plus 5b plus 7 what are the variables in this expression so 3 no not 3 a and b no? what is uh, what are the numerical coefficient for this expression 3a plus 5b plus 7 3 and 5 and what is the constant syempre yung walang kasamang variable 7 so 7 is positive ha? positive 7 number 2 x minus 10. So, what is the variable in this expression? x is the variable. The numerical coefficient is invisible. And what is that invisible number? 1. And then, yung constant, the constant is negative 10. Kapag 10 lang ang binigay nyo, mamamali kayo. Because uh, 10 is negative. If you will rewrite that to addition sentence, x plus negative 10, so 10 is negative. Number 3. C plus 5D minus 4E. So what are the variables? There are 3. C D and E. What are the numerical coefficient? The invisible one sa C sa D is 5 and sa E is negative 4. And what is the constant? 0 is the constant. Okay. Number 4, 8, M, N. So, what are the variables? M, N, N. What is the numerical coefficient? A. What is the constant? There is no constant. Walang number na walang variable. So, 0. Number 5, 5 minus 6K, so the variables, the variable is 
Hey. The numerical coefficient is negative 9. And the constant is 5. Now, number 6, negative 63. So, negative 63, there, there's no variable, so 0. None or none. Zero or none. The numerical coefficient, zero or none. And then the constant, the constant is negative 63. So these are the important things to remember in the under the introduction to algebraic expressions if you have questions or clarifications just pm me and i will answer your queries so this is sir dudes tick down saying always do what is right because you cannot do wrong in doing what is right. So, gawin natin ang tama para maging masaya tayo at maging masaya ang mga taong nakapaligid sa atin. Goodbye! Thank you for watching my video.